Welcome back to Penguin Game Day. We're happy to be joined by Austin Bujnak, the offensive line coach for the Youngstown State Penguins in his first year under Coach Doug Phillips. Coach, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Austin, this is uh, the offensive line was a group that there were a lot of question marks about, but uh, they have shown vast improvements in the spring season. Uh, the first game against North Dakota State, obviously we were able to see them against some competition. Just how much of this has this group improved? They've improved immensely, and it's a credit to them. Uh, I tell that them every day. You know, I'm there to support them, uh, but they've made the choice and the decision to get better. Uh, we don't talk about the first game that much anymore. Uh, it was something that, you know, they needed. They needed to grow. It's a, it's a group of young guys, a lot of guys who haven't played in the game. Um, I remember the first meeting, you know, I asked who's played in a college football game, and one person really raised their hand. And I knew what we were getting into the first game, but – from the first game to now, it's a totally different group, and it's just be, it's it's because they made the choice, you know. I mean, being the leader of this group, um, was it just as I mean, it was almost like a, a light was turned on where they got better that quick. I mean, was that just them cohesively deciding to, you know, come together as a group? You know, it, it is, and you know, I had to show them what the standard is, what the standard Youngstown State is. Uh, I had to repeatedly show them and show them, and it caught on, you know. Uh, one guy did it, two guys did it, three guys did it, and just the whole group, you know, as a whole, they really bonded together. Uh, at first, they, you know, they talked a little bit, but now they're all best friends. They, you know, they might, they might talk too much a little bit, but uh, they're enjoying what they're doing. They're having fun playing football, and that's what I want for them, and uh, we just got to keep improving. We're still a long ways away, uh, but with a young group of guys, I mean, it's trending upward, which is good. Austin, the offensive line is not the glamorous guys. I mean, they're the guys who don't get the headlines, don't get the coverage, and, and so on and so forth. And, and it, it feels that this group is okay with that. Yeah, I mean, that's just, you know, I preached to them. I said, you know, we're the guys in the basement that don't get any light. You know, we don't get fed the good things. You know, we just sit in the basement and we grow. And that's the biggest thing with offensive line play is, you know, we have to, you know, celebrate and enjoy our accomplishments separately. You know, our accomplishments are winning. Right. I make, you know, competitions all the time with, you know, who gets the most knockdowns and all that stuff. But, you know, playing offense lines, a different, different sort of thing. Coach, you played at Cincinnati. Why come to Youngstown State and be on Coach Phillips staff? You know, Coach Phillips gave me the call to, you know, come up here. Uh, couldn't say no. I couldn't, you know, get it here any quicker. Um, what he brings to this program, this culture, this city. Is something I wanted to be a part of, and it's stuff that was uh, developed down in Cincinnati that he took with him up here, and it's just the love for the players, and you know, the football, football is football, but it's what's life outside of football that I'm really into. And Coach Phillips does a great job; he cares about his players, and that's what I love about working with him. Coach, you had some experience in some NFL camps with the uh, the uh, Jets and the Rams. Um, you know, do you bring any of that experience to your guys now? I do. You know, I like to say I had a cup of coffee, nothing too crazy. Uh, but, you know, I like to give them some stories. You know, I like to give them the success stories and some of the failures that I saw. Um, you know, why the, some guys made it, some guys didn't. And, you know, they really listened to that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's it's about my guys and our guys and how they, you know, how they perform on the field. Coach, we have about uh, 30 seconds left in this segment. What's the expectations of this group as we close out the spring season and head to the fall? Yeah, I want them, you know, to put it on tape, you know, put it on tape about we're the nastiest, the most physical uh, team in the conference. And our conference has amazing offensive lines. And I want to be up there with the, with the big boys. Um, but just to prove our effort, you know, our effort, every play we're going to finish. Um, and when we finish, results come. Coach, we appreciate the time tonight. Best of luck on Saturday against Western Illinois and throughout the rest of the spring season. Thank you for having me. All right, that is Austin Bujnak, the offensive line coach for the Penguins. When we come back, we're going to talk some golf with Tony Joy as Penguin Game Day continues.